Hello brothers and sisters, this is course level two of Dependence on God while we're studying at Faith University. So this is level two of course two. And for those of you that just saw the video, um, a little refresher, this is going to be about how we use faith, how we apply faith when we're waiting on God to fulfill a promise. And we all right now are in a waiting period. We're all in one. The Bride of Christ is waiting, you know, um, for the glorification and like all kinds of things related to the kingdom and our next level where we're going from here. So, so as we're meditating on how without faith, it's impossible to please God, we can think on this too. And like I said, this accumulates, so we start small, we gradually grow in intensity, and there's a lot that we learn in a short period. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how what waiting on God produces in us as kingdom builders, as we who store up treasures, you know, when we obey God by faith. So in the waiting period, that's a perfect chance for us to show God how dependable we are. You know, like if, if, he, if he allows us to experience a difficult situation where we're having to wait and we're dealing with all the emotions in that, we're put in a position where we can show how responsible we are in the faith and in the spirit with what we do in that waiting time. And I've learned that one of the things that we, that comes to us in, in one of the ways that we're groomed when we are in the waiting process is that we learn humility. And what I mean by that is, you know, by ourselves in a waiting period, there's nothing that we can do to speed things up. If we're operating in the way that God would have us operate and we're not going ahead of him, but we're following his lead, that means that we are submitting to him and following him such that everything that happens, happens in his time. So it's not us jumping ahead to try to make it happen. So when we're in that position, there isn't anything that we can do to speed things up. And, you know, we might experience emotions like, feeling weak or feeling maybe a little desperate or feeling like just calling out to God and saying, Lord, can you please just bring this to pass? You said you would. I believe you will. Can you please bring it to pass? Because like it gets hard sometimes, right? So when we're dealing with this, we learn humility because we learn what it feels like to be vulnerable. And vulnerability is something that I definitely want to talk about in this course, reminding you that it's not just me saying this stuff to you guys, but it is me too. I'm studying at Faith University too when I'm thinking on these things. And these are the things that I am learning and meditating on and sharing with you guys so that you can meditate on it. We can all be edified together through the Holy Spirit. So we learn humility because when you're, when you're in the vulnerable position of, Lord, can you please bring this to be? Like, I'm waiting for this, I'm longing for this, I'm desiring this, such that it's making me feel weak, you know what I mean? It's making me feel weary. You learn humility because you are in a very vulnerable place. You're in a position where you really have no choice but to submit to God. And so that brings about something so good in us because we move forward in his kingdom. We move forward in his will when we are submitted to him. Remember, I talk a lot about faith, surrender, and obedience. When you're in a position where your faith has to be greater, you're in a position where you're willing to surrender more. You're willing to obey more because you learn that God is the one that you rely on. You know, he sh it's like in your time of great need and waiting where you're having to exercise a lot of faith, he is revealed as God who carries us. God who rescues us, you know what I mean? God who saves us, like not, not just salvation saves us, but 
as in snatches us out of a difficult situation. The God that brings difficulties to an end for our good, you know, because we grow stronger in those times. And so what I'm saying here is think about how when you have to wait for something that you're longing for, think about how that produces humility in you. Think about that. Rejoice in that. Because, you know, what does it say in the scripture? Like, he gives grace to the humble or something like that. If I find that more than happy to put that down in the description box as with all the scriptures. And if I forget to put anything in the, in the description box at, that I reference as a scripture in the videos, I invite you to type that down and tell me so I can find it for you. Because I want us to all be able to look at not just our lives, you know, like, um, but also the Word and what the Word teaches us, you know, because the Word is life. And so, yes, it brings about humility as we depend on Him in faith. We learn humility because in vulnerability, knowing that God is in charge, knowing that God has our best interest, it, it leads us, if we're willing to obey him, that puts us in no position but to submit. That's like the only thing that we can do. And when we're at the bottom, we can't rely on ourselves. So we must rely on God. And so while we're waiting... There comes a point when we are fully operating in humility if we are in fact letting him lead and not trying to take charge by ourselves and make things happen by ourselves. But we learn how to be effective servants, you know. We, we learn how to, I should say, take instructions. We learn how to follow our commander, the great commander, Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? So that's why I mentioned kingdom building as kingdom builders and the army of light. You know, a good soldier follows their command date. They follow their orders, right? And so I also wanted to give you guys a verse about how we're not left alone in our weakness. You know, even though waiting and needing to have a lot of faith and needing to surrender a lot. That can be really difficult, but God doesn't leave us alone. So I want to read to you guys Psalm 29, verse 11, because I came across this recently, and it was so beautiful, really so beautiful, and we can definitely relate to it. Yes, it says, Psalm 29, verse 11, it says, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. How true is this of us when we are in the waiting period and we are longing and yearning and being, honestly, we're really needy toward God, like at a waiting period where we're being put in a position where we need to learn how to have greater faith and how to depend on him. And, you know, it, it humbles us, you know. And you can't, in the kingdom, like, you can't come to anything great. As in, like, you can't go up unless first you're, unless first you're humble. You know what I mean? Like, coming to him like a child, being teachable, willing to learn, not being like, I already know everything, I'm going to do it my way. Because, and that, if we're operating in that mindset... We're in opposition to the will of God because we're basically saying, God, we're not accepting your authority. We know better than you do. You know what I mean? And all of us know that's not the case. So I wanted to share that. Um, you know, he blesses his people with peace. And so I encourage you to consider how waiting on God teaches you humility and how important humility is when it comes to operating in the kingdom of God for his purposes and to be a light to other people and to just also grow your own relationship with the Lord. And that is all for level two. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.